Yeah, I mean, listen, this is where I say you were just talking about AUKUS, and I was a, a big fan of that, big cheerleader, um, and I don't normally cheerlead Biden administration policy, at least on the Middle East, but I've been a very big fan for what you guys did in Asia. But the problem is, as I said, we can't realistically d deliver those submarines to Australia anytime soon. I mean, the, the ranking member in the Senate on um, on Senate Armed Services have said this. We know this because we just, as I said, cut an attack sub this year. So. It's, it's where I worry, and again, this is not a critique of the Biden administration. They can only deal with the budget that Congress gives them. Um, but where I, where I am worried is that we uh, talk a very big game and then can't deliver you know, on the results. Saying that, you know, we, we revived the Quad and the Trump administration. I think they had not met for like seven years whenever we started those meetings again. The fact that it's leader level is fantastic. Uh, AUKUS is another great deal. Um, being in Taiwan, watching the president meet um, with the Japanese, uh, and, the, and, the, and the Philippine President Marcos as well. I mean, these are all fantastic signs. I think they're all signs that China, um, things that China are looking at and they're watching. Uh, I, I think probably the most important thing we could do, uh, the collective we, over the next uh, three to four years, five years, as we get towards the, the end of the 20s, um, is double and triple down on our alliance and partnerships in Asia. Um, you know, even when you look at the supplemental and the... 20 different forms that they're voting on uh, over the next few days. A um, uh, lot of money for Ukraine and Israel. Uh, there is some money for Indo-PACOM and for Taiwan, but it's much smaller proportionally. And so that's another place when I talk about, you know, putting our money where our mouth is as it relates to, um, to policy in addition to rhetoric. Uh, I think it's time to start looking at our military aid in Asia as well. Um, obviously, what's going on in Ukraine is incredibly important, and the outcome could have ramifications. But I think uh, doubling and tripling down on our alliance structure in Asia is going to be incredibly important. And, but it's going to have to be more than just me meetings with leaders. We're going to have to have like real, really substantive, tangible things that we're bringing to the table. And I just think, unfortunately, in our current budget environment, we're not there.